Hey everybody, Engine Doc back with you. Got another engine to look at today. We have got a SIP. I've got some history on this one. When it was built, 1896. Got some age on it. Let you read here. These smaller engines, this is a quarter horse, these smaller engines uh, were uh, distributed as uh, toys for kids. And they were available in kit form or machined and you assembled it yourself. So here's the engine. It's got a nice little petite flywheel on it. The engine was a little rough before I started on it. This is uh, finished, uh, just restored to running. I wanted to keep it in its original appearance. So uh, I've just uh, disassembled it, cleaned it, checked for any brakes or anything that it needed. And it really nothing that it needed other than cleaned up it had been setting for a lot of years very nice little engine give you a view of this side of it the uh, the bore is uh, just under an inch and the stroke is two inches the flywheel is uh, five and seven eighths, which, from what I can find, uh, information I can find on the web, this is a uh, quarter horse version. Very attractive engine with its uh, brass lagging. So, we'll uh, get on with the uh, some video of uh, what it actually took to get this thing running and get it looking a little bit better. It had apparently sat in the barn for many, many, many years. Okay, we've got the sip disassembled here and um, it's got a lot of real nice original patina on it I'm gonna leave that alone and uh, <clears throat> surprisingly all the screws and fasteners are okay I haven't found any stripped holes yet um, it's in excellent condition and um, it's got a little rust build up I can tell it was run on steam it's got a little rust build up inside the steam chest here. Here's the valve. And all this is going to have to be cleaned up real well to get all the flakes of rust out of it. So I will do that. The gasket is going to have to be re remade. And it didn't have a head gasket on it, but it will when I get done with it here. The flywheel was fairly rusty on the rim, so I stuck it in the lathe and chucked it up here on the crank and and polished up the wheel and got it looking pretty decent um, the connecting rod uh, was just <clears throat> heavily pitted with rust and uh, I put it in a lathe and cleaned it up uh, this is the brass lagging that goes on the cylinder um, just a heavy chunk of cast brass here that'll clean up nice I think the combination of some clean clean metal, polished surfaces, uh, and, and the old patina will look really neat on this engine. I really do not want to paint this engine. I want to leave it with its original uh, look. Kind of leave it in its work clothes. And uh, put it back together. It's got uh, the, uh, the valve rod is brass. Very nice. Very nicely made. This was a a super nicely made engine back in the day and let's see the cylinder bore 
is uh, in good condition. The camera may not pick that up, but it's in good condition. I I measured the bore. I'm not sure what the stroke is yet until I get the crankshaft back in it and can measure the stroke. But the bore is uh, 0.893, which is kind of a an odd size. Uh, so not sure what to think about that yet. I have to do some research. <clears throat> I think this was the smaller of the sips. I think there was a quarter horse and a half horse, and I'm reasonably certain this is the quarter version. Little rocker, little rocker guide here for the uh, the valve mechanism, and uh, that's the ports that the uh, that the valve covers and uncovers. Very simple. And the bearings. I'm going to show you the bearings. I wish all engines had bearings like this. Um, very precision built. You can This block will turn either way on either side. So uh, not much to mix up there. Um, didn't have any shims in it. Uh, some shims go on this surface here and this surface and this is a split bronze bearing and they are excellent and uh, they can be uh, removed I haven't broken the bottom one loose yet but uh, they can be removed for service stuck back in a little bit of shim and, and set them for uh, tightness and you're good to go so uh, very nice set of bearings in it uh, the rod bearings and everything were good speaking of the rod it's over here in the lathe. I turn the light on here, and I set it up between centers, and I've just got I've got the, the face plate on here, and for a drive dog, I just used a piece of quarter inch copper pipe, copper tubing, and it it's fit right through the the crank pin bore there, and I can set it up between centers and give me plenty of room. There's really no way to chuck on it. So I had to put it between centers and uh, just ran some emery on it, clean it up a little bit. It was just pitted real bad with the rust and you know just didn't look good. So did that. We'll get her back together here and get a picture of it running and uh, continue from there. These old engines are cool. Thanks for watching. All right, I got my little regulator here on the end of my air hose. Get it plugged in here. Bring some air up. And away she goes.
It's not even registering on the gauge. Probably two or three pounds of pressure right there. Thanks for watching.